Hello everyone, welcome back to another Campus Clogs video. First thing you're gonna notice is my well, obviously my hair and I'm coming out of the cold guys. So if you hear some stuffy things, it's my bad. I'm getting better guys. The whole video point is today is about this 150 gallon aquarium behind me. Uh, let's get into it. So this 150 gallon aquarium was originally right there. Even the original spot was over there. If you guys are an OG subscriber, take was over there. Now it's over, that was there. And now it's all the way to the final resting spot here. Here is the tank itself. This is the condition I'm starting at. So the tank, the bottom is all spray painted, all good. I might need to do some touch-ups a little bit here and there. Tank itself, it's obviously not filled enough where it's going to go over down the overflow. The plumbing, the plumbing still needs to be finalized uh, down the back. Uh, but yeah, there's that. Here is the canopy. The canopy looks all good. I should do a little bit more touch-up on paint-wise, but everything other than that looks pretty good. Tank itself, I've filled up with water. I need to add the background to the back. You guys can see there. I need to add a background. And the way you guys can see is the tank sits all the way to edge to edge, as you can tell. So the only way I'm going to be going to get over to the plumbing, as you can see, I don't have any sort of cabinetry doors on the actual stain. The only way I'm going to get over, like, to get to the plumbing is over top of the tank. It's not the most practical thing. I understand that. But it's gonna have to make do what I have currently just to pretty much get over it. It made sense the best way to have the tank look to position the best, but not practical for cleaning. So that's gonna suck, but it should be okay. It won't be all that bad. Uh, but I just pretty much have to crawl over the tank to get back in that back area back there where I can actually have enough room to get to all the plumbing and different things like that. All right, I need to get behind there and I need to get my trusty little step stool and I'm gonna have to maneuver myself up and over the stand. Guys, I can already tell you, this is gonna be rough and I don't have a second person to film, so I'm gonna have to like set the camera right here on top of the tank and hope to God this thing don't fall inside. Guys, that's the best angle I got for you. I'm sorry. I know, I know, I know. It's just impossible to get behind there without trying to like kill myself. Oh my gosh. I made it. Guys, we're back behind here. This is my little situation. I got back here. I got not that much room. I'm stepping on top of a step stool because that's all I got back here. Uh, but from the here, you can actually see the actual tank itself from the back view. You can see all the different plumbing. Obviously, water's not down there yet. This is just random stuff. This is here. The lid have air in there. I wanted some sort of oxygen movement. Uh, as you can see, I still need to put backgrounds on these panes here. And then here's the little little area you can just see my little tiny area don't get me wrong it's not convenient but it's all I got so here it is here is bio balls man brighten up bio balls these are all and these filters everything will be in the actual sump system it's not in there currently I'm paying a little light there it is hang a little light it's pretty nice but I don't have the, the power strip the power strip is plugged in for the light but it's not turned on and I don't know how the world I'm gonna get back to, to turn that on so besides the point here's the plug each each plumbing chamber that goes down has a return and so here is the return for this section you guys can see there's another section over here this is connected directly to a pump the pump is in this chamber of water right there i am sorry about the quality i don't know why it sucks you know whatever the other drainage is going straight down and there's barely any water that goes through here just because i need something here to make sure if any sort of water did go through, it would go into the tank. So it's just kind of, it barely has anything coming out when it was running. So it's just going to kind of push around in here and kind of like that. Here is the second return. The return goes to a PVC pipe and then straight down right through the first chamber of all the bio balls. I know the glass is dirty, but it's a sump. What do you expect? Whatever. Here is the sump system. So the sump has a chamber of bio balls, goes up and over. You can see here. And then this is the second chamber. So this is pretty much a 29 gallon tank. It has a crack on the top. That's why it's used as a sump. And then I have an acrylic sump inside of it that kind of works like that. Sim very simple. Water goes in through here, up and over, and then comes out the little little PVC pipe there. It's meant to have a uh, have a pump right here connected to it, but since I didn't have a pump that fit around to it, I just put it inside of a tank itself. Obviously, the bottom is pretty dirty and you suck all that junk out. Um, but here's this. Here's the re here's the pump that there would be a pump here, but since I only have one pump, I actually have another pump. Uh, yeah, it's hard to see, but I actually have another pump 
on top over there, whatever. But I'm thinking about actually adding a pump into here, so having two different pumps pumped through way. Obviously, there'd be no water flow through this side. The only water flow that would be pushing out is this one pump itself, so I might need to add another pump or split that one pump or something like that. But it's pretty nice. Here's the little fans when there's meant to be doors here, so when there's little fans that kind of have air circulation obviously I'm not going to need them uh, this tank is almost ready to go I just need to pretty much the only final things to do is pretty much clean off the bottom of the tank and go ahead and finish filling the top of the rim and then this tank will be set to go we can add the canopy and then once the canopy's on top it'll be a lot easier to go through and not try to fall and break my neck or try to maneuvering All right, the next project of the day is to grab this big old barrel full of water. This thing's full of water, guys. I'm not weak, it's just heavy. Oh! Guys, it just spilled all over the place. We got the water, full of water. I'm gonna grab this pump from right in here and then go ahead and start pumping the water in from here into the tank itself. All right, got the pump. Pump will go into the water, and this thing will go in through here. Ah, uh, whoops. There, stay, don't move. Water flowing, oh boy, do not go all over the place. I repeat, do not backwash. You know what I'm talking about. You put the water on, the thing gets free friction, and then flies all over and, yes, tell me you're a fish keeper without telling me you're a fish keeper. I'm telling you, how many times does it happen? You're pumping water, you plug it in, and it goes whoosh, and then it sprays all around. I'm telling you, it happens to everyone. All right. Done for the night, it's almost 10 o'clock, and I need to go edit this video and get this out as soon as I can. Uh, this is what it's looking like. Obviously nothing special, but the tank itself is actually folded to the top where you can actually start going to the overflow. The pump is not on. I did run water down the little back for a little bit just so the sump gets fuller. Tomorrow morning I'll come out here, turn the pump on, get the canopy on, get the lights on, get everything finalized and finished, and then we'll go from there. The tank looks really nice. You will see a lot better review in the morning time when I do a better overview. The tank is all around looking really nice. All right, everyone, next morning, let's hit it hard today. All right, first thing I already did is I already cleaned the lids up a little bit. There's still water stains on it, I really don't care. But I pretty much pressure washed the top of it real quick. Looks good. Um, I have these random sponge filters that are randomest sponge filters I've ever seen in my life. These are just gonna go in the filter back there, so I'm just gonna like that, chuck them in the back. Uh, everything's looking good. Water is completely full to the top, like you guys saw last night. Everything is pretty much good, other than turning on the pump, getting all the filter media done. And you know what that means for the last time, for probably a while, I'm hoping, is gotta get the trusty ladder out and I gotta jump the dang thing again. Oh boy, we successfully made it somehow. I don't know how, don't ask me. We made it down here. As you can see, the water level, it is a little low. I'm gonna want to add some water whenever I get on the other side, guys. I know this is not the more the the best situation of getting back here. I don't know how it's gonna work out, but it's gonna be rough getting back here. That's all I'm gonna tell you. Uh, yeah. Beside the point, we need to go ahead and pretty much get the the sump system all going. We just need to get the sump system all going, getting everything running. Uh, the pump is not plugged in yet. There's the pump there. I also have a new pump, a second pump for this, like I said. I don't know if I'm going to get a, a, put a pump on this one or not. I'm not 100% positive. If I need it down the road, I can. Uh, but we have all this filter media. We need to pile into this. It's going to be rough. I can already tell you. Uh, wish me luck. All right. As you can see, everything's pretty much full, full of bio balls, like to the rim. I have a... Just a random sponge filter on top of there, just random. Um, and the second chamber, I can definitely fill that thing up more. I'm probably going to go pick up a whole bunch of those uh, circular, like, bath ball things, whatever you call them, probably in there. Uh, but right now, I just have a, a piece of foam wedged in when the water flows through, so it kind of catches the foam as well. Um, there's pretty much that. Everything's pretty much done other than plugging the pump in. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. Here we go. Pump is on, and water 
is flowing. So pump is on. You guys can see water is uh, obviously flowing already. So looks good so far. You guys can see a lot of water movement on top, especially in that area there. But we're gonna let it run for a little bit. Just check on everything. Make sure everything's working properly. Water starting to go down the overflow. And then you guys will start seeing water actually start coming down through here. There we go. Water from that one already. That one looks like that's going to be our main source of water. And that's not going to work because a lot of it's splashing. Okay, now I know that the uneven, the un like if it's a one tank, the tank's unlevel on one side. That's where the water's going to go. So if it's unlevel just a tiny bit, the more water's going to go through here. It's looking good and everything's flowing. I need to go to a hardware store and figure out a better solution for this just because... Sorry, I flipped the camera on just so you could hear. But it's pretty loud, so... And I mean, not outrageously loud, but it is loud enough where I want to try to dampen it as much as possible. The definitely, this foam here... Definitely, definitely does a lot of work. Um, but I'm, I'm definitely going to need a, probably a better shot right into there. So that's maybe the next step. Other than that, pump's running. Obviously, I need to fill more water up in here. Um, other than that, I just need to pretty much put one more water in it. Uh, put the canopy on top and then figure out this power head here as well. I got a little piece of railing or whatever you call it and I painted a black. It's, but I pretty much painted these things black. It's like a thing you put the wires in. Uh, so you can kind of hide it like I did for this thermostat. So that's the same thing I did because it's going to have to run on top. Because it's going to have to run on top here, this wire from the light. It's going to have to run all the way along like this to the back. And that's going to kind of make it nice because this white wire is definitely going to stick out like a sore thumb. The tank with the canopy and light on. By the way, the canopy putting on was a disaster. It was almost impossible for me to get this canopy on. The thing got heavy, it's just so dang big. But I managed to do it, you know, a big muscle man around here, you know. The tank's looking good though. I mean, if I turn off the lights off, it's obviously still daylight but off, but with the whole with the whole garage, the tank is by far the centerpiece. Obviously, the tank needs to cloud uh, uncloud a little bit. I also put a power head and right here just to keep the water moving as well. Uh, but this tank is pretty much completely done. I need to add more water into it. This is my garbage can full of water. I just need to grab water into there and pump it into here. Just to top off the sump system. But other than that, this tank is completely done. Almost ready for fish. i probably going to put goldfish and koi in here because I don't have a heater. Unless I can just add a heater, I guess I could do that too. Uh, but this tank is a really nice tank. I still need to do some final touch-ups. Like for example, I need to clean off this black here. This has a lot of dust almost on it. I need to do that. I need to clean the glass. But other than that, this tank is by far done. It really is a really nice tank. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you guys have any questions about anything, about the 150 gallon aquarium, or anything to do with the tank, make sure you let me down, down in the comment section below. Make sure you subscribe. And you know, guys, I almost forgot to show you the coolest thing. Just wait. Look what I just got in the mail. COVID friendly Caleb's Aquatics mask. It's hard to see, but look how cool this is. So, guys, I cannot tell you it's gonna save you from COVID because I'll probably get sued, even though I'm not gonna get sued. I don't wanna get sued. Blah, blah, blah. But this, I'm going to be using this. The main reason why I got this was because when I'm going to Aquashella in Orlando. Sneak peek. If you didn't know that, I'm going to Aquashella in Orlando. I'll be staying stay tuned for June 10th or, or 12th and 13th. So stay tuned for lots of videos. I'm getting my cameras ready. Obviously still a long ways away. But I got my camera set up because I'm a camera nerd too, I guess. Other than that, guys, thanks for watching today's video. Make sure you like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Uh, that's about it. Uh